when Airbus revealed their plans to enter the heavyweight freighter market with the Airbus A350F, many saw Airbus's plan to take a stake in a Boeing-heavy market as intuitive. But will airlines actually order this new cargo variant? In this video, we'll discuss some of the potential A350F customers. Stay tuned! Before I dive into this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. More great aviation content is on the way, and the easiest way you can support the channel is by pressing that red button down below. 97.5% of you still are not subscribed, so let's see if we can get that number higher by next week. Listen to the end of this video to hear about an exclusive opportunity to get access to our Discord server with shoutouts, giveaways, and more. Airbus has had little success in the cargo market before, with their A330-200F not being a huge success. Airbus hopes this will all change with the new introduction of their A350F program. It is based on their innovative passenger A350. Little details do exist of the type, except that the freighter will be based on the larger A350-1000 and it is expected to carry over 90 tons of freight. This positions it well in the category with last generation freighters similar to the MD-11. But which airlines might order the type? Well, with no official launch customers as of September 2021, we'll base this off statements from airlines and reports. One of the main expected airlines to order the A350F is Qatar Airways. While Qatar has had recent drama with Airbus for supposed issues over the A350, they have commented that they are interested in ordering many next-generation freighters from either Boeing or Airbus. They specifically pointed out cargo variants of the A350 and 777X as being the main options. However, as a 777X freighter not being released as of yet, does the A350F have the advantage? We'll see. As long as these issues Qatar has with the A350s get resolved, it appears quite likely. Another potential customer Airbus is surely eyeing is Lufthansa Cargo. Lufthansa Cargo operates a smaller fleet of cargo aircraft, comprising of converted A321s, 777Fs, and the MD-11. Since Lufthansa is retired their MD-11s, a small A350F order might be in line for the carrier. Airbus certainly eyed the carrier as a potential A350F customer. Lufthansa also operates many of the passenger A350s and already has pilots and maintenance crews trained on the type. While Lufthansa might not be a large customer for the type, a small order for the type is definitely a strong possibility. Another potential customer for Airbus's new freighter variant is Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines currently operates a fleet of seven 747-400Fs. While these aircraft have a larger cargo weight capacity compared to the A350's proposed cargo capacity, an order for the A350F is not far-fetched. SIA is a loyal A350 customer, with over 50 currently in its fleet. Singapore could slowly release its aging and fuel-hungry 747s with the modern and fuel-efficient A350F. Singapore is also a customer that Airbus is probably targeting as a probable customer of their newest cargo widebody, the A350F. There are many other possible A350 customers, similar to UPS and FedEx in the future, but these three airlines are some of the airlines that could use the A350F the most, and with Qatar directly advocating for the A350F, it won't be long until we see orders for the A350F rolling in. 
What do you think? Does the A350F have a huge potential in the cargo market, or will this be another failed attempt by Airbus like their attempt at designing an A380 Fat Raider? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like, and if you're interested in supporting the channel and getting extra perks, earlier access to videos, access to our exclusive Discord community with giveaways and more, check out channel memberships by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button down below. All new members also get a customized shoutout in the video, so make sure to consider becoming a member. That's it for this video, I'll see you in the next.